helping babies breathe with a training doll. A newborn who doesn't breathe at birth needs help immediately. We need to resuscitate. By one minute after birth, the golden minute, a baby should be breathing well. <laughs> Or you should be giving the baby breaths. This video shows the steps for basic newborn resuscitation using a training doll. Always be prepared. Be sure the place where the baby is born is clean, well lighted, and warm. Have these supplies to help the baby breathe at every birth. A newborn size bag and two masks for both a normal size baby and a small baby. A suction device, a hat, clean gloves, soft cloths for drying the baby, and a stethoscope. Wash your hands. Then check your resuscitation equipment. First, squeeze the bag and watch for the valve to open and close. Next, make a seal with your palm and squeeze the bag. You should feel pressure against your hand. See the bag reinflate and hear air escaping from the pop-off valve. Then test your suction device. Squeeze it, block the tip, and release. It should not expand until the tip is free. The golden minute starts at birth. Place the baby on the mother's abdomen. As you quickly dry the baby, you notice that she hasn't cried. Now change to a dry cloth. Observe, she's not breathing. Slightly extend her head and check for secretions. Then stimulate the baby. She is still not breathing. Now move her to a firm surface. Position her head. Place the mask and make a tight seal. Then start your ventilations. Let's show these important first actions again in more detail. Immediately after the birth, Place the baby on the mother's abdomen and note the time of birth. You notice the baby hasn't cried. This is a warning sign. A crying baby is a breathing baby. Quickly and thoroughly dry the baby's head, body, arms and legs. Turn the baby to her side and dry her back. This helps stimulate the baby to breathe. Then change to a dry cloth and cover the baby's head. Observe the baby's chest closely. The baby is not breathing. Now, start the steps to help her breathe. First, Raise the baby's chin to let her breathe most easily. Then check for secretions. The baby's nose and mouth are clear, so you do not need to suction. Rub the baby's back two or three times gently, but firmly to stimulate breathing. Observe, the baby is still not breathing. Now move her to a firm surface. Tell the mother her baby needs help with breathing and that you will give that help. There is room at the bottom of the bed, so you do not need to cut the cord. 
Now stand at the baby's head and tilt it up. Position the rim of the mask just below the baby's mouth, then roll the mask over her mouth and nose. Make a tight seal by holding her chin up as you press down on the mask. Now squeeze the back smoothly. You should see the chest gently rise with each breath. Give the baby breaths for one minute. To get the right pace, count out loud. Breathe two, three, breathe two, three. Squeeze the back on, breathe, and release the back on two, three. Then keep the mask in place while you quickly observe. The baby is still not breathing. Call for help and continue giving breaths. Please come in and help me. My baby is still not breathing. Your helper quickly checks the heart rate by feeling the cord pulse. The baby's heart rate is faster than your own, so it's normal and ventilations are adequate. A heart rate of more than 100 is normal. See the baby starting to take her own breaths. Stop giving breaths when the heart rate stays normal and the baby is breathing well on her own. We are sure the mother that a baby is breathing now. Put the baby on the mother's chest, skin to skin, and cover with warm blankets. Encourage breastfeeding as soon as possible. A baby who needed resuscitation is especially vulnerable in the first hours after birth. Check the baby's breathing and temperature every 15 minutes until the first complete exam between one and two hours after birth. Here are actions you can take if you notice the chest is not moving with the breaths you are giving. First, reposition the baby's head. Then, reapply the mask and give two or three more breaths. If the chest still does not rise, clear secretions from the mouth and nose. And open the mouth a little. Try again to give breaths. If there is still no chest movement, squeeze the bag a little harder to give a larger breath. That worked. Now the baby's chest is rising. Let's see the positioning of the mask one more time. Place the rim of the mask just below the baby's mouth. Roll the mask over her mouth and nose. Then make a tight seal by holding her chin up as you press down on the mask. Squeeze the back smoothly to make the chest gently rise. If the baby does not begin to breathe and has a normal or a slow heart rate, improve and continue ventilation. Discuss the situation with the mother and family. If referral is possible, continue giving breaths to the baby and keep her warm during transport. Transfer the mother with the baby. Sometimes, a baby will not survive even when you give breaths with a bag and mask. If there was no heartbeat at birth, and you cannot detect a heartbeat with a stethoscope after 10 minutes of giving breaths. 
Stop your efforts to resuscitate. Gently explain to the mother that the baby has died and give her supportive care. Remember, be prepared to resuscitate at every birth. Dry the baby, keep her warm, quickly clear her airway if needed, rub her back to stimulate breathing, then give breaths if she's not breathing on her own. Providing these steps in a timely way can save a baby's life. 